Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We've got some warm weather going on. We're going to take this opportunity while we've got some warm weather and we're going to work on our stove pipe cleaning it out. This is something that we do a couple of times a, a, a season. First thing we're going to do, we're going to move in here behind this. We've got some screws that hold this flame system on. We're going to get this out. Try to slide this thimble off of this here. Be very, very careful because we don't want the ash will dump into the house. process I do not want smut going all in my house. Alright I'm going to ask Wanda if she will to come over here around this side. We're going to need a bag on that end and a bag on this end. Alright what we do is we usually take our grocery bags and we get our groceries in just as a precaution. kind of a safety the safety thing here so that you don't have to worry about dumping ashes in your house. We've learned this. Now we're going to take this thing outside where we can clean it. Okay, we're outside here. I want to show you a little bit about the products that we use to clean our chimney. We have a six inch chimney brush it comes in a box like this if I can get it out I'll show it to you here this is it it's just a metal chimney brush to clean our chimney with we don't use it they make two different kinds they make a plastic one and they make a metal one we prefer the metal one this here these are rods that you use to clean a chimney out with No more of what we're going to be doing. We're only going to be using one rod. Now these rods screw together. Okay. Put that cap back on there. I don't want to lose that. Box down. Seems like every time we get ready to do anything, it's bad windy. Okay. See, there's a lot of soot build up in this pipe. So what we're going to do, we're going to slide our six inch. We'll turn it up on its end. I just like to roll it up down. Got that end done. What we're going to do is we'll see what comes out. That's how much stuff we scraped loose out of that pipe. Now we're going to turn over and do the other end. Now. 
It was getting slightly stopped up. And I always like to go back and do mine a second time. I just want to make sure it's good and clean. There's nothing in there. Notice we have a lot of soot build up here too. So if we're going to go this far, we like to clean everything up. We'll get a wire brush in a minute. Right now I like to get everything broke loose. You can see it all on this plate. She can actually you got to get on up there where you can look in it. That's how full of stuff that it is. Now what we're gonna do is go out back. We have a clean out back there. We're gonna take that clean out off and see if we can't uh, get some of this stuff to go out that clean out. Okay, we've opened the doors in the house, and what that's done is that's created a draft up this pipe, and we're gonna take and See if we can't take this brush now as long as that draft is going and try to move as much of this creosote toward the other end of that pipe before we get a back draft on some wind. see any difference. See how clean the pipe is now. It's nice and clean. No more chrysoid on it or anything. It's a stainless steel pipe. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take a bag and we're going to Take this bag. Now, the vacuum from the house here should suck this bag up over that hole. We're going to try to stretch this bag and tie it. got it on there. Next we're going to move outside to the, uh, you see it's breathing. We're going to move outside and see if we can take our uh, cover off the bottom of the chimney. Okay, now we're going to take our cover off of the bottom of our chimney outside the house here. Alright, that lady to the side. We're going to take our little tool here now. We're going to see if we can break this thing loose. You want that? I will do this a second. Hang on. Let me see. It would have to be a windy day today. Okay. 
what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take this bag, try to get it up over this. I'm just going to let it fall into it now that I've got it. I'm going to let all that creosote come down into this bag. And get it held up there. That creosote is hard. I'm going to have to go up in and punch it and break it loose. All right. in here too. This is the load of Chris Oak that came out of the chimney here in this bag. Now we're going to be cleaning out this chimney here and I'm going to show you a little bit of a process about how I do that. Okay, um, I'm going to show y'all how I do this and make it a little bit easier and also I use uh, some of the stuff that we have on the homestead here. Now I've got this feed bag here like we get our chicken feed in. What I've done is I take my pocket knife about halfway up and I punch a hole in the side of it right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, can you see that? Okay. I take my fiberglass rod and I run it through that bag like that where the rod is sticking out the side of the bag like this. And what this is for we're going to slide this bag up here, me and one is going to hold it, and I'm going to start that, hold on a minute, I'm going to start this brush up in the chimney now. What this does is this catches most of the soot when it falls out here and we don't have a huge mess out here. Well, There's going to be some smut that's going to come out around that hole, but it's, you're not going to get away from having it all. We're going to screw another rod onto it. on here that we're using. This is what, the third one? That's the third one. You can hear stuff falling in the bag. All the creosote's coming down out of here. Yeah. No. 
Outside chimney, we got it done. Wasn't a whole lot of smut in it, or Chris Oak. There was just a little bit. I don't know if we can get it here where we can show you that there wasn't a whole lot in there. Just, just a little bit. But we don't want any chimney fires, and we're gonna take a look up through there now to make sure she's clean. Yep. It's clean all the way to the top of the chimney now. Okay, we put our cover back on the bottom of our chimney here now and we this is kind of a homemade little deal that I made here that just as a as an insurance that, that piece is not going to come off of the bottom of that I took me some aluminum and bent it up and drilled me a couple of holes and I I put me some little quarter inch self tapping screws in that okay one of the things that we do is we make sure we clean all of our tools up when we get through with them this is already clean so we're going to do is set that in the box, baby. If you don't mind, get the box. Her shoes are clean to her hands. Mine's not clean yet, so I'm going to, I'll do the handle on that. We're going to take one rod at a time after they've been up that chimney. They're completely nasty. I'll let her wipe them off and then we'll stick them back in our tube here. One of the things you'll learn, you're only as good as your tools are. So if you don't take care of your tools, your tools won't take care of you. Okay, now that we're back inside, we're going to finish up our chimney job here. We'll get one that she will to reach up there and get that bag off. Make sure you don't spill any smut that might have got in it in the house. All right. This should complete our chimney installation, our chimney pipe installation. If you like what you've seen today on Deep South Homestead, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.